Hello. I'm again going to share a few books with you today. And I'm starting out with, one again, one of the Virginia Reader's Choice books this year, which is Sparky. Now you notice Sparky has a gold medal. Sparky already won the Charlotte Zolotal Award. That is a different award given for books. It's not given for the pictures. It's given for the text of picture books. Zolotal was a writer, and she was also an editor. And that is an award presented by the children's section in the University of Wisconsin. You might want to look at the, her list, that list of books to find some other good books. But let me go with the sloth, the sloth, which is here. I picked him up because I thought he was so cute. Well, Sparky is the little girl wants a pet. Just like the new Dr. Seuss books, you know, when the children go to the pet store and go through all the strange pets. Well, in this one, she goes to the library and she asks librarian for information about an animal which will not be hard to take care of. Of course, the sloth is that kind of animal because he lies around and does very little. However, in this book, you get some information about sloths. They found out by looking it up in books, or you could use the computer, that sloths have been known to sleep more than 16 hours a day. I don't know if I could do that. And they hang upside down, barely moving for long times. And they survive by eating leaves and drinking the water from the leaves. So when you're reading this book and sharing it with the children for the Virginia Reader's Choice, you might want to have them do some research on the real sloth. When I found this book, then I decided to look for other books about sloths. And you'd be amazed at the number of books there are. Here we have Sloth Sleeps On. Now this is a good book to compare with Sparky because yes, it's right, that's all the sloth does is sleep. And yes, he is a pet. But he was discovered in the tree. He wasn't imported to be a pet. What happens is the children don't know what kind of an animal he is. And instead of looking around or going to adults for help or even go to the library for help, they look at their own books and they're looking, as you can see here, in Animals of the Ocean, which is certainly not the sloth. Had they turned around, they would have seen that a sloth had broken out of the zoo. But they didn't do that kind of research. Then we also have in this book information about the sloth, that he's sleepy and he can, this, hey, this book says he can sleep for up to 20 hours a day and it tells where he lives in the rainforest. Well, that seems to be a problem because finally the people who have this book realize where he came from and they send him back to the rainforest, which is not where he wanted to go. If you remember or have read about Mr. Brown, remember that tiger who took off all of his clothes and went into the jungle and then decided that he really, really belonged back in the city? Well, the same thing with this poor sloth. He's trying to find his way back home. The last book is one that you could share with the younger children, Snooze Fest. Of course, it would be about a sloth because a sloth sleeps all the time. In this book, all the children are toy animals in the city go to a sleepover. They have great fun. Of course, Snuggleford, who is the sloth, picks up his trash when it's time to go home. He's had a good time because he slept all the time. Everybody else at the party played games and did the things that children do at sleepovers. This, I thought, would be a fun thing to use to give not only the story of Sparky, who if you remember, if you've read the book already, he's supposed to do tricks. Well, of course, he doesn't do tricks, but at least he's a friend because he sits there and is friendly with the owner of him. Or you can go to the sloth slept on and talk about the fact that the children didn't do good research. Or you can end up with snooze fest going to sleep with the sloth. At any rate, do some research read the Virginia Reader's Choice book, and enjoy learning about sloths. That's the end of today's book. Books, actually. Hug a sloth. <laughs>